my deliverer from angry nations. You set me above my assailants. You saved me from the violent men, O oh Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. We love freedom. So today Jesus tells us that who believe in him, that he has come from the Father, and that if the Son frees them, they will truly be free. Ask today, let us today God for true freedom for us, for all nations. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare us for us to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, who are the way, the truth, the life, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. My Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance and in your kindness. Grant, the, grant those who stir to a sense of devotion a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and is with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I had made whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, the flute, the lyre, the harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments. Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white-hot furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, There is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this manner. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white-hot furnace, and from your hands, O king, may he save us. But if, even if he will not, know, O king, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King ne Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white-hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered, but he replied, I see four men, unfettered and unhurt, walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like a son of God. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own God. The word of the Lord. Amen. 
Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Christ, King of endless glory. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest of perseverance. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham, and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will be truly free. I know that you are the descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in my father's presence then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me. A man who has told you the truth, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one Father, God. Jesus said to him, If God were your Father, you would love me. For I came from God and am, and am here. I did not come from my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. When today must worship an idol or be put to death, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego chose to rem <coughs> remain faithful to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They exhibited tremendous and courageous faith in the face of suffering and death. The early Christians often faced the same trial of a sacrifice to the Roman Emperor and live, refuse and die. Great martyrs like Perpetua and Felicity, 
popes like Sixtus and Cornelius, apologists like Justin refused to offer the pagan sacrifice and were put to death. The saints do not compromise their faith for the sake of worldly success, Jesus asks. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his soul? The saints show us that authentic faith means remaining true to Jesus Christ in the face of temptation, difficulty, and trial. The prospect of suffering for the gospel terrifies us. Most of Catholic don't want to be battered or distracted from pursuing our own goals, what we think we will make us happy. Prayer is considered a waste of time. Charity, a waste of money. A money, fasting, a waste of pleasure. And aren't those the idols of our own day? My time, my money, my pursuit of pleasure. Many people reject Catholic Christianity not because they have a dis distaste for ornate churches or they reject the hierarchical const uh, constitution of the church. It is that they detect that Catholicism calls them away from the worship of idols to the worship and imitation of Christ, who embraces the cross, who reveals the cross as the royal road to heaven. The account of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fire furnace foreshadows a powerful truth of our Christian faith. In the furnace, the three faith boys were not alone. They were joined by one with the appearance of a son of God. So too, in our suffering, we are never alone. Christ is with us, transforming the fire of our suffering into the light of glory. As Holy Week draws near, let us draw near to Jesus as he suffers for us. Let us draw near to him to console him who consoles us. May these final days of Lent help us to have courage in the face of suffering and temptation, to know Jesus' presence with us as we imitate him in his passion. Trusting in the Lord who saves, let us offer our prayers of petitions. For the Church, may the Holy Spirit continue to uphold her in times of trial. Let us pray to the Lord. For leaders of nations, may the Lord bless them with the gifts necessary to serve their people with justice. Let us pray to the Lord. For those burdened by illness or addiction, may God's promises and generous love be a comforting presence to them. Let us pray to the Lord. For we who are gathered here to worship, may the Lord gives, uh, give us the wisdom and faith to make our homes through domestic churches. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, especially we pray for Duran, the Carl. May they soon find eternal peace and rest in God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. And for our private intentions.
Let us pray to the Lord. God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, hear our prayers, for we bring them to you confident in your care for us, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, for through our goodness we have received the bread we offer you of the earth and word of human hands. You have come for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, for through our goodness we have received the one we offer you from our divine and work of human hands, you have become our spiritual dream. Pray, brothers and sisters, that may sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our thoughts, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions, adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices be prayed on with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy. Blessed. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like to fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered the very England of passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer Lord the breath of life and the trellis of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And the service come and informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Just to us, with the three apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look on our sins. But on the fact of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy name forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be to you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, and behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless our brows, call to the supper of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the mysteries you have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.